I read an article a while back, and it was uh, addressing this question of value and origin. And they had asked a group of respondents to a survey, if you could purchase George Clooney's sweater, would you be willing to pay good money for a sweater that you knew that George Clooney had owned, that he had actually worn? And people were like, yes, I would pay money for George Clooney's sweater. I'm assuming that all of the respondents were women. I cannot verify that. So like, yes, we want George Clooney's sweater. Please give it to us now. And so then the next question was, well, if you would pay this much for George Clooney's sweater that he had worn, how much would you pay for a sweater that George Clooney had owned and worn, but it had since been laundered? And the number went down. People were willing to pay less money for a clean sweater that George Clooney had owned. So it's kind of like, well, that seems weird. Wouldn't you want the clean sweater? But no, they don't want the clean sweater. But do you see that the further that the sweater was removed from its origin, the less value that it had? And I think that so often when we think about the value of God's commandments, the further removed they are in our understanding from the character of God himself, the less we know how to properly value them. But when we understand that they find their origin in him, their value becomes what it should be.